Muslim women who wear this, the niqab, can't integrate into Britain. This is a conversation I had with someone, a lady who a lot of you know, so I'm not going to mention who she is, because she's on social media. I met her for a coffee, and she goes to me, you know what? Muslim women can't integrate in society because they wear the niqab. And I was like, okay, uh, you came to this meeting wearing a face mask, right? Does that mean you can't in integrate in society? She goes, no, Sabah, you know what? Um, it's not that. It's actually the colour of the burqa and the niqab. I said, okay. I said, what colours, like, what colour have you seen? She goes, I've seen black. And I don't feel like that is appropriate for this society. I feel like they should be stripy or multicoloured or, like, a bit more bright and vibrant. I said, okay. I said, you come to this meeting wearing a black dress. Does that mean you can't integrate into society? She goes, no, Sabah, you know what? I just don't think wearing it is appropriate. For me, the fact that she felt comfortable enough to ask me these questions about Islam or to express how she felt, that's a big thing. Because the whole point of me reaching out to people and allowing them to ask questions about Islam is a safe space for them to help them remove misconceptions of Islam. So back to the conversation, I said to her, look, are you a feminist? She goes, yeah. I said, tell me if I'm wrong. But feminists believe Muslims can, or oh, people can dress, women can dress however they want to dress so that they can express themselves however they want to express themselves. She goes, yeah. I said, so if a Muslim woman decides to wear a niqab or a burqa or wear a covering, surely that's in line with what you think? She goes, yeah, that is in line with what I think. I said, have you ever met a Muslim woman? She goes, no. I said, that's the problem. I said, the fact that you've not met a Muslim woman has allowed these misconceptions to grow and grow and grow and this fear to develop inside you and for you to think in a certain way. I think, do you know when we don't have interaction with people who are different or not like us? That's where these misconceptions grow from. So anyway, I invited this lady back to the mosque for a tour of Britain's largest mosque and she never came, but that's entirely up to her. But I feel like the more we learn about people who might not look like us or, are, or who are different to us, that's a way to live in a society where we can grow together and have understanding and know that Muslim women are not forced to dress a certain way. That's the conversation I wanted to share with you. And I'm sure people have got their own stories. But this is unfortunately where the issue stems from is a lack of conversation and dialogue.